hello ladies and gentlemen my name is destiny and welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm going to show you guys how to automatically log a user in when they create an account using django so i'm sure you're going to enjoy this video do make sure to drop a like consider subscribing and also drop a comment in the comment section below if you have any issue i'll be there to help you out so without any further ado let's go ahead and get started So by default in Django, when you create an account and fill in your username, email, password and confirm password and hit the next or login button, it would automatically send you to the login page to confirm your credentials. But let's say you want to save your users the stress of trying to log in again, you just want to log them in automatically. What you need to do is simply go ahead and use a very, very, very simple method that Django has given. But before that, let me show you guys what we're going to be building in this project. So I'm going to fill in my username. Let's say I'm, I'm gonna fill it in um, with this I have the the username to heck I have the email I have the password testing three to one and this other one so when I go ahead and hit next what do you notice it will go ahead and log me in automatically now it actually didn't ask for a login page or whatever as you can see it's logged me in automatically so that's what we'll be doing in this video let me just go ahead and get started okay guys so back to our code now this is my views.py I already have the register register view here and if you don't know how to create an account yet using Django um, how to like you know create an authentication method where users have to create an account and log in or log out do make sure to watch this video card that's popped out right now okay so without being said let's go ahead and get started now this is my register view I already have it built out so I won't be building it from scratch in this video because I just want to show you guys one simple feature now we need to import two methods the first one is going to be authenticate and the, the second one is going to be login and we need to import this from django.contrib.auth we need to import authenticate and we also need to import login so with these two methods that's what we're going to be using to actually make this functionality come to life so after this we need to define a new variable you can call it new user you can call it whatever then we're going to say new user should be authenticate so we are initiating the authenticate method that we imported above now the authenticate method by default has a field that's called username so it wants to get the username that the user imputed in the login form oh, oh my, my login form is out so it want to get the the username that the user imputed so we are simply gonna say user should be equal to form dot clean data dot get so I'm gonna explain what this is doing and what we want to get is the username okay so form dot clean data dot get is simply gonna get the username let me head back to the sign up form again so it's simply gonna get in the username that the user puts in here that's what this is doing and it's also want to get the password so we also need to pass in password should be equal to form dot point data dot get and we need to pass in password over here just like that okay and after this what we simply need to do is go ahead and use the login method that we imported we're just gonna say new user dot login just like this and we need to pass in i think we need to pass okay not new user login we just need to initiate the login and in here we need to pass in request and we need to pass in new user okay so after these two things i think that's pretty much what we want to do let's go ahead and test this out and see if it works so i'm just going to refresh this page um come over here and let's create a new user i'm going to create a new user and i'm going to hit next Okay guys, as you can see, we are encountering this error that says built-in function or method object is not subscribable. So I'm doing this by purpose to actually show you guys the errors that you might encounter if you don't pay close attention. So firstly, we don't need to use this get um, this get over here. We need to get rid of it. And when we come over here and refresh, what do you notice? Um, let's fill in the, the username again and let's say next then you're gonna see another error that will say password okay so that's because what we need to pass in is password one over here and not just password so with this now let's go ahead and try it out again this time around it should be working perfectly fine we fill in the email the username and hit next now what do you notice it locks me in so that's it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed it and learned something new in this very very short video if you did do not forget to drop a like and consider subscribing as it really mean the world to me and if for any reason you're guessing any Wrong. just drop a comment in the comment section below and i'll be there to help you out i hope i'll see you guys in the next video but love peace out